Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Tramp to Champ, the series where we open packs depending on how many goals we score, promotion, hat tricks and what not. If you missed the last episode, you um, should go and check it back out because we did score some nice goals. Actually, last week we did have a very good week. Uh, unbeaten in a while as well. We've lost, no actually not in a while, I lied here, but the record's looking decent. 13 wins, 2 draws, 2 losses and uh, we're opening some packs trying to bolster the team. Currently it sits at a bit of a hybrid with BPL and BBVA, which is La Liga, um, but we do have some tidy players in the team and that's all that matters really especially when uh, trying to get our way up to Division 1 and win it. There was a nice addition that we did get in a pack then which was Teote who could replace someone at CDM, maybe even change the whole team around but we'll have to wait and see in a moment. Now if any of you guys do want the MSP, PSN codes are cheap game codes as well, make sure you check out G2A.com, their link is down below in the description. If you use discount code B87 as well you do get a bit of a discount off your total order. So for Gooley, he's a a decent non-rare player as well, someone we may add in the future. You guys did decide about Messi, which was the fact to leave him there until we can actually put him in a team, use him for five games, and then hopefully by that time we might have actually packed him. So the league table's looking pretty hefty as well. Um, we need like I think it's one point, maybe one point, maybe one win, uh, and then we can walk on to Division Seven. I think. Not 100% sure. Lichtensteiner was also one of the decent pulls, but we did get a pretty high-rated pull um, before the end of the pack opening as well. I think we actually opened 10 packs in this episode. We replaced the kits as well with what we get in packs, as well as... Um, the club badges as well as you can see there. Also guys, if you can try and smash over 3,000 likes as always, that'd be absolutely brilliant. If you missed any of the videos from the weekend or even from earlier on today, make sure you go and check them out. There's some pretty cheap, uh, well there's a big range actually, between cheap and expensive squad builders coming out. And uh, tomorrow we'll be testing the silvers as well to see if they can handle themselves against the gold teams. So this series has been fun so far. I'm enjoying loading it up even though the servers have been completely shit. I was actually lucky that I was... Uh, what was I doing? I was actually playing ahead because I went to uh, EGX in London this weekend. Uh, come back and then we actually played on a Sunday. So it wasn't as bad as the servers were on the Friday and uh, the Saturday anyway. So you did see Muller added to the uh, arsenal of players as well. Maybe someone we can add in the future. But we changed the team up back to uh, Bun uh, back to the uh, Barclays Premier League. Uh, Distin added into the team. Luke Shaw back into it. Krul back into it. Sacco back into it. Glenn Johnson and Teote. So this is the team we're going to be using for the two games we are playing today. Uh, all the games are in divisions. Rage quit equals three packs. Um, hat trick equals three packs. Uh, what else? Every goal is a pack. Uh, and obviously promotion is a nice uh, six packs as well as the division title, which is eight packs. That's something we're aiming to do today. And uh, our opponent was a nice looking uh, Dutch team. We're blind in for Meyer as well. Uh, but a very solid opponent he was. He was very difficult. But thankfully we were able to get an early advantage. Uh, Teote bombing forward. I don't know what it is about playing positionings, bombing forward, I'm not going to complain here though, because he did put uh, a goal in the back of the net and give us a lead, but player positioning is something I'm annoyed at with FIFA itself, whether it be uh, on the kickoff, if you notice the position of some of the players, uh, it's absolutely horrendous, and then a bit of a tramp goal there where Vargas gets on the score sheet to make it 2-0, so a nice uh, result just before half time as well and uh, that was how the game did finish nothing really happened in the second half Summer, which um, rain. That was the, the first rain game, I think, for a while. It's better than last year. It's better than new FIFAs. Maybe you guys uh, can let me know what you think of rain in this FIFA. Do you think it's better than last year or exactly the same? But I think it's actually playable now. You see a lot of people who play with rain just to... Uh, abuse certain things. I did actually ask a few people uh, months, months ago actually, uh, why are they playing Rain on FIFA 14, what did they get from it and obviously people were unprepared to play in Rain as it was a big disadvantage but obviously that's different now. So the team playing the second game was Van Persie Di Maria, Aguero uh, up front and then a very solid midfield with Ozil, uh, Toure and Ramirez and a very fast defence as well and this is actually the first time I played against Sergio Aguero and he is fucking rapid uh, putting him in the lead in the fifth minute I was annoyed uh, I just could not catch him I don't know what it was could not catch him um, and he got from bad to worse as he did sell me with a dummy there running on straight on through and was able to finesse it around the goalkeeper to make it 2-0 so this could be our first loss coming for, for a while to be honest but 
but um, when you're defending against that type of player, no wonder he's one of the most expensive players uh, in the BPL. It was going to be a hard game, but just before half time, he managed to pull one goal back, uh, and that was Vargas who not through, put it around the keeper, and 2 1 going into the second half. I was pushing all fucking game for this. We were dominating on possession. Uh, chances, bit, bit, not that many, but we did manage to get an equalising goal in the 87th minute, maybe 88th minute, we'll give it to that. Uh, and then we we're going to go for the win. We did get dropped in the 90th minute, winning straight on through. Got a straight red card with Vincent Company as well, which was annoying, but we did get the draw. So it's not a loss, which is one thing, but it is two packs in the bag. So we've got two packs plus, ten pa uh, plus eight packs, sorry, uh, for promotion. So that's 10 packs plus the result of the first game which was two so that's 12 packs for the next episode guys remember if you are enjoying this series to drop a like rate and subscribe if you are not subscribed for more awesome fifa 15 content and uh, we're going to be back another day probably well it's going to be a daily series this as this could go on for quite a while trying to get to division one especially when all the uh, uh, high rated good people are actually starting to move up in the divisions as well we are going to get dominated a few times but until then we're going to enjoy opening packs we're going to enjoy getting decent players and hopefully in the next episode with the nice bumper pack of 12 we are able to uh, add some decent players into the team if you missed any of the episodes guys go and check them out go and check out all the other videos and until next time see you all later have a very very nice day